Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Box at YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to retrieve object data along with its related parent object data using an extract data mapper. In the previous videos uh, related to the extract data mapper, I haven't covered this scenario, but now I will show you uh, how we can do that. Okay, in the extract data mapper, using extract data mapper, we can fetch uh, data along with the child records and we can fetch the data uh, along with the parent object data also. It is possible with the extract data mapper. Okay, we are fetch contact with parent account data. I am selecting in, uh, interface type as an extract data mapper using interface using the extract data mapper only we need to do this uh, scenario click on the save button okay so here i will uh, first i will show you the uh, scenario retrieving the contact records along with the related parent parent account fields using extract data mapper write an extract data mapper this is not a Create an extract data mapper to fetch the contact fields such as the first name, last name, and email, along with related parent account fields like account name, account industry, and account billing city. Okay. Now I will add the contact object. Now I will add the child object first. Okay. Contact con where account ID not equals to null. Colon velocity. Okay. I have added the. Uh, I have did the object configuration for the contact object. Now in now I will go to the output tab to do the field mapping for the contact object. I will. I am searching for the first name. Contact first name. Okay. We have added that after that contact last name and we need to add the email field from the contact okay we have added three fields from the contact object see we got the response right and here in the debug log, debug log section also you can see the uh, query okay now i will go to the extract tab and i will add the account object here and i will show you the other way also instead of this we can do other thing also okay here i will write the con colon account filter where id right here id is nothing but account id right so con colon id for each contact we need to fetch the uh, the related account right that's why i have written con colon account acc and uh, i am filtering this account records with this contact contact account id okay and for each record the uh, we, we are going to fetch the uh, account record okay it will be the only one record here it will show you the array symbol but it will be the only one record now i will do the field mapping for the account fields okay what fields we need to fetch from the account object name industry and billing city account name Search for the billing city. The other field is industry. Okay, we did the field mapping. 
no see we got the response for each content we got the uh, their related account record right if the field uh, values for the billing city industry is present then it will show you here see for this radhika madan we don't have the billing city and industry value that's why uh, those property values are not showing but if it is there it is going to show you uh, for this uh, like this uh, for this record okay and this is a one way of fetching uh, the child record with their parent data and instead of uh, and the other way also i will show you i will create a new data map for that in the end i will add the two okay instead of that what i will do have we flown that the the previous one okay okay here here we don't need here we don't require this uh, object configuration okay remove this object configuration this is the best way uh, comparing to the first one okay here we need to do the configuration for the account object uh, uh, and uh, and we need to uh, do the field mapping uh, according to, according to this uh, object configuration but here it, it doesn't require okay now we will go to the uh, field mapping configuration uh, now i will remove the account uh, object configurations okay here here all the field, uh, field mappings are there for the contact object now i need to do the field mapping for the account object right so select the con colon account id okay here remove that id okay and in here you can use the dot notation okay to fetch the account uh, fields information like this oh, it is going to and you can if you want the dot symbol you can don't you don't use dot symbol or else you can use the colon also okay uh, colon also otherwise you can use uh, the, uh, the re remove the colon and uh, use this uh, con colon account name it will show you like this in the in the same object uh, uh, merging the account fields with the uh, contact object otherwise you can do like this also in the contact record uh, account information will be shown as a uh, uh, a separate record okay select the account id and in the account id remove that id and put a dot and fetch whatever fields you want from the account object this is a, a lookup uh, name okay if it is a custom object means account underscore underscore r will come because this is a standard object right that's why uh, this is a api name of the account lookup field okay if it is a custom object you you will use the underscore underscore r dot industry okay here i am removing this dot uh, industry show that i am using the colon industry okay see industry got added to the account object now the last field is billing city select the con colon account id remove that id in the end dot billing city copy the path and in the output json path remove that dot, dot and place the colon see you will get the same output 
okay if you compare these two data raptors here there is no need to uh, there is no need to do the field mapping for the uh, the parent object okay if the contact is having other uh, parent object also uh, there is no need to do the object configuration in the extract tab okay you can simply uh, fetch uh, you can simply do the field mapping in the output tab itself okay and then you can get the data now i got the uh, object information from the account right now i will fetch the user information okay this is also one lookup field right created by id here i will remove in the this is the standard field and this is the field apnl right dot name this is a user information i am fetching the user information see created by name uh, text we'll get the user information also see created by name this one dot the username also will not be for the maybe this field uh, we'll check here uh, by executing svk query Yeah, here we are getting the okay here we are getting the username value and the name value also right then here i made the mistake here i need to write the small n okay naming convention uh, is also important Not, uh, means how the api name is there in the object manager and uh, here also you need to check if it is not the same it is not going to work now uh, see we got the username also okay previously i have written the username uh, capital n, uh, n as a capital n that's why we got that's why we got the uh, we didn't got the username value okay and for this name created by name see i did not uh, uh, remove the uh, here i didn't make the field mapping correctly that's why we didn't got the uh, username see now we got the username tech box okay like this you can fetch the parent object data uh, using the extract data mapper okay you can uh, you can get uh, multiple parent object data okay by replay by uh, in the extract json part uh, use that uh, fields from uh, use that uh, object name okay con colon here the contact is a contact node okay and the account is a uh, property in the contact record and use that uh, account uh, lookup field api name okay if it is a con if it is a custom object and in the end append the underscore underscore r dot and the field from which field you want to fill uh, from which field you want the information okay and in the end add the field okay what field value you want like this you can uh, fetch uh, multiple uh, master detail and look of fields information using extract data mapper without uh, object configuration doing the ext extract tab okay 
this is all about the video uh, fetching the object data and their parent information multiple parent object information using extract data mapper i hope you got this you understood this video if you have any queries uh, please do a comment and uh, yeah uh, if you uh, you can share this uh, you can share this uh, videos uh, people who are uh, your colleagues uh, people who are learning or miss video and thank you for thank you for uh, watching thank you for your time please do subscribe and like keep learning thank you thank you everyone